Welcome okay. back once again, Real People, Real Life, Wichita, Kansas, America. <laughs> I, I don't ever tell, I, I just don't tell you we all to do, do that, that, but we do it, so hopefully you can get that next time. Okay. Um, it's kind of a surprise. I like to see the look on people's face when we're all going, America, and everybody's like, no, uh, anyway, I'm I sorry. Be it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we were in Japan. No, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I actually, I'm actually in Ireland right now. I just didn't tell you. Love that place. It was beautiful and a good color that we're going to be talking about in a little bit. Um, okay, so fun, fun stuff on this particular part of the Real People Real Life show. Um, wow, three amazing, beautiful ladies here that uh, I can't wait to introduce you to. We'll start with you, young lady. Juanita Ridge. Mm -hmm. What you doing? Well, I'm here to um, to yeah. ring out my song uh, right. to the full city of yeah. Wichita, Kansas. We're going to have fun with that. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the organizations? Uh, I am the founder of Millennium Moms Empowerment Network and mm -hmm. under the uh, umbrella of Creative Thinkers Learning Club, mm -hmm. Justice Keepers of Kansas, Brothers Keepers Roundtable, mm -hmm. and America's Thousand Points of Light. Number 542. She's amazing. Hello. Ooh, absolutely. Sue Ann, how are you? What's oh, going on? Great, thanks. Um, go ahead and leave. My name is Sue Ann Oliphant. I'm an interior designer for mm -hmm. Ethan Allen Love here it. in Wichita. Um, I've been in this industry for over 20 years. Yep. I've been following you. You're mm -hmm. so talented. Thank you. How do you love it there? Absolutely. Love, love it, love it. it. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, wonderful support. Uh -huh. We're always learning, uh -huh. you know, the latest trends, color. This is a great place. Very, okay. very happy. And speaking of my favorite place, well, one of my favorite places being Ireland, that has something to do with the color today. We'll get to that. Yeah. Hi, Katie. How are you? Hey. Hi, honey. Hey. I'm going to do like this because the flowers are. <laughs> um, so you're with also. Yes. I'm uh, Ethan Allen. Uh -huh. I'm an interior designer and design center manager at Ethan Allen here in Wichita. Okay. Wow. This is going to be so much fun. Okay. So definitely ladies and guys and just everybody. You're going to like this, I promise. So shall we start with Juanita's song? Yeah. Want to do that? Do Does that work? Uh, okay, okay. A little background. Juanita, how many years have you wanted to do this song? Well, um... Ever uh, since they started sagging. <laughs> well, no. Uh, when I first started the uh, Brothers Keepers Roundtable at uh, Stucky Middle School... Oh, wow. Okay. And uh, sagging was a real big problem. Uh -huh. And it kind of brought out the worst in a lot of the adults who had mm. to... Uh, help kids, you know, solve their problem, mm -hmm. and uh, it became something that you know, I can't. I wanted to come up with a creative way so that it didn't create a lot of stress on the students right. when you asked them to pull their pants up. Right. And so I started singing to them. This so is so cute. I had been singing to them for the longest, and mm -hmm. uh, this past year I decided, hey, let's put this song. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do yeah. it. I love this song. Andy, we've played it on the air. Yes, we have. And we're going to be playing it more this summer. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start with playing the song, and we're all going to kind of get our dance going here a little bit. And then we'll come back and tell everybody about a big citywide promotion that we're going to do to make the video for the song. Here you go. Pay attention. You're going to love it. Oh, my gosh. Get ready to dance, guys. <laughs> It's gonna be fun. <laughs> What's it gonna take for a young man to pull his pants up? Is it gonna take the principal's office? Okay. Is it law enforcement? State and federal legislation? Or will this song help correct the wrong? So here we go. Sing, girl. Just tell them, boys. Got him. 
were treating the kids that were doing this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I saw a lot of kids uh, getting in trouble uh, because they didn't want someone approaching them, you know, with pulling their pants up. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's all in the approach. Right. Right. And mm-hmm. so that's why I had to find a softer version of how to come to the young men. And I would say, hey, honey, how's your day going today? Can you put your pants up for me, please? Thank you so much. Right? And it was like a turnaround. Mm -hmm. And they value, you know, just me coming up being friendly to them, first of all, because they didn't want to be known as just, you know, you coming up saying, hey, pull your pants up. Right. I'm still a person, too, and I really want you to see me. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's a matter of trying to see who they are Mm -hmm. and feel who they are without, you know, Trying to judge. Him. I think as adults, it's our responsibility to maybe reevaluate how we respond to things because it is offensive. Right, it is. Okay, and a natural response would be to be offended mm-hmm. and to act, you know, that way isn't exactly the most inviting or friendly or, you know, keeping it open for communication kind of way. And I've seen it a lot myself. I'm responsible for responding poorly mm-hmm. to people not having their pants pulled up because I don't want to see that, you know, but yeah. she's right. They're still human being that, you know, who knows, you know, that's all they know. Maybe that's what they know. Mm-hmm. You know? It could be. And, and also, it was a trend. It you was know, a trend. It was. have the words on the butts now. Right. And if you ever go to Baby Gap, they have the jeans with the boxers sticking out. Yep. Right. And stuff. So, it was, it's a trend. Yeah. yeah. Is it, it still a, a trend? trend? Yeah. It's a well, trend. still yeah. a trend. Yeah. Sometimes like, when trends got to fall the into the hands of the law, too. they become yeah. the law. And so, right. Like, when we look at eight states and more that have mm-hmm. created legislation, mm-hmm. you know, behind the sacking, yep. and, you know, you can be penalized, mm-hmm. then I think it's our obligation, in mind as a mother, right, to make sure that our kids are not falling into the quicksand of, you know, the system, right, mm-hmm. being incarcerated, yeah. having encounters with the police. It's start, it can start so easily There's just by not pulling their pants up. To come in. Exactly. Okay, but I I do have a problem with that because that's discriminating. I mean, it is. I don't agree. I'm (laughs) guilty of not handling it well. Okay, but I feel like that. There's people with no butts. I'm just saying. So the pants. That's why you guys. That's why you've got suspenders. And my my wife will tell you, you ain't got no butt. Wear them suspenders. I'm tired of seeing your crack. There you go. The origin of sagging pants, though, came from the prison system. Okay, and so it meant available, and that's where I think in lies the biggest problem with it. Yes, it turned into a fad. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, so did the origin didn't just come from the prison system. What what? It didn't just come from the prison system. Right. It came from slavery. Okay. When uh, young African-American men were hanged, uh-huh. uh, in another effort to humiliate them, they pulled their pants down. I had read that, mm-hmm. and so I'm glad you brought that up, because yeah. I think a lot of people, when you talk about this, and there's been you know, all these little memes and stuff on Facebook pertaining to those riches not being pulled up, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And and it seems like I've seen more and more that, that, that people want to use those memes and say it's here because it started in a prison thing. But that's yeah. not entirely true. That's right. It did, but, but yeah. you know, it, it, it was revived. It was revived. When, when they hung, them, <clears throat> when they they hung them, they pulled them all the way down to mm-hmm. expose them. This mm-hmm. is just showing their underwear to give a message that they're available. Mm-hmm. And that trend and that look is what was extended. Well, well, it was a revived uh, yeah. Your form, boyfriend, but names, when we look names, at the origin, the it dark. you know originated from slavery, but it was revived through the prison system, right? In another arena, 
as far as sexual it's a different ed. Meaning. My yeah. wife taught school for 39 years before she retired, and mostly in the inner city schools because most of her life has been dedicated to working in the inner city, the urban community. And in schools, I, I, I hate the terminology, but it really became a part of thug life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so it became it really a real, it became a real issue in work. schools. And mm -hmm. my wife, I mean, she, she talks fondly of a teacher friend of her, a principal that was in uh, South Carolina that she worked for. And they used to take these plastic bags that you get from the grocery the stores. Baggies, yep. And they would make them tie a belt, use those baggies, tie them together, use them for a belt, mm -hmm. and use it for a belt. And they usually didn't sag too much more. But it, the thug life mentality, the, the impact of the schools, from mm -hmm. one student to the other has certainly been an issue. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm totally with you. I don't like dress codes and all that kind of stuff. Because I mean, now I see the bandanas. Instead of them having the bandanas yeah. on the back of their pant pocket now, they're wearing the boxers. Yeah. Showing everybody yeah. that either their blood, crip, or whatever it is with the bandanas, mm -hmm. making that kind of statement as well. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, I, th I hope and pray that this, this, this song, you mm -hmm. know, can really help some of the youth because I do think that it can be a simple thing of getting in trouble by not having their pants pulled up at school that then leads into more and more problems, you know, down the road. And before right. these kids know it, they're going to be locked up. Right. See, and I think that this is a soft mm -hmm. approach I where agree. they're taking offense to someone, like she said, just saying, like, man, pull your pants up. They're human beings, too. Yeah, right. They have likes. Right. You know? So I think we're going to have some fun with yeah. this, and I really hope you guys will help us promote this. Um I, I, I'm so tickled about this. Juanita is going to be uh, taking videos, and we want you to submit your video. I need you to go and get the song, okay? Where do you then, get it? You can go to cdbaby.com, and you can also go on YouTube. You will be helping the cause by going to cdbaby.com and downloading it for $1.99, uh -huh. which is real cheap. But if you can't do that, you can go to YouTube. And boy, put your pants up. Download the song to So Amazing 90210 mm -hmm. at hotmail.com. That is S O A M A Z I N G 90210 mm -hmm. at, hot, at hotmail.com. Right. Download your video to <clears throat> the email, and we will be going through all those videos mm -hmm. to create one big video mm -hmm. that we can take to Nashville. Uh -huh. There you go. Yeah, that's and great. We are working with a I'm national for TV. I'm looking for grandmas out there to be like, well, I play our bands. Up. I know. We're working, <laughs> we're working with a national TV station and uh, to take this even bigger. I know Andy and I are going to have some fun with it on the radio again this summer. And, and we want these. I want the kids. I want the parents. I want the grandparents. I want the local <laughs> preacher. I want yes. the community to mm -hmm. download that song, Boy, Pull Your Pants Up. Download the song and get to work, especially, come on, it's a three-day weekend. You can handle this. Get to work and do your own video. Submit that video with the song, obviously. You can be singing and dancing because we're going to like that. And then send that to, one more time. So amazing. So amazing. And hotmail.com. Okay. Boy, that's a long one. Okay. And so if you amazing. have a problem, uh, go to Real People Real Life and, and the Facebook page there and we'll kind of help you out. I think we're going to have to take a really quick break, and then we're going to come back with more. Is that cool? That's cool. Okay. That's we'll be right cool. back. Well, put your pants up. There you go. <laughs>